So my today's topic is, or you can say today I'm going to brief about that, how to ensure women's safety on the roads. So, are women safe in roads? This is a question to you all. Some of you answer yes, some of you answer no. I just want to say to you that some, somehow it's correct because they are not safe and that's how the topic came up. So I just want to uh, say that the, the things we heard usually, that acid touring, rape and everything, these things should get stopped. Even today, in our subcontinent especially, these things are still going on. In every 22 months, we see 80 girls get trapped. It, it is, it's a data and I collected it from uh, Google and yeah, so I just want to say that uh, for stopping these things, I, I should say that acid, should, acid touring should be banned. Acid should be banned actually and thus they won't be kept, uh, they won't, the, oh, I'm not saying that all men are wrong but some of them are and their mentality should get changed and uh, like especially in the night time, the girls are not allowed to get outside and not alone especially. So that, that mentality of the parents and others should be changed as well because not all the time the girls are unsafe. And also, oh, we should cooperate with the girls when they are they're facing any problems while they're in roads. And we all know about the menstruation thing and if we see anything like something is wrong with a girl, we must help her. Instead of bullying her, instead of saying wrong things about her, we must cooperate. Even if I'm a boy, I need to cooperate. So, about the above mentioned things, that's all I can say because I'm way much nervous. So, thank you everyone. Salam alaikum. I'm not going to give my introduction. Do you know me? No. Many of you. To social media? Is it there? Whatever. I know different actresses, actors, though they don't live beside me or behind me. So how could I know them? The reason is social media. It has expanded uh, our vision though the world is too small, isn't it? Now the thing is our common and so usual perception is that the ladies and girls who are always active on Facebook can't actually concentrate on their education. Is it true? Do you agree with me? Most of you have Facebook. Does it mean that you can't concentrate on your education? No, right? Well, my today's topic is Facebook contribution in women's safety. And this is Maya Fesinia before you. And I will ensure you that it's a speak for change. Well, a women, we know that we have to respect women. It's how can we spread it in our society around the world? How we could? Through social media, we can, right? We can even uh, give this thing to our parent friendly in Australia, America, wherever we live. We don't need to stay calm at our home only and just to think, what can I do? What can I do? I have realized, like, realized it, but how could I make another one to realize it? I can use it social media. You know you have to respect our women and your responsibility is to get others to know that you also have to respect our women and just come to the point how can we ensure women's safety to Facebook? It's too simple. Give it a hashtag. Hashtag respect women. Well, when the safety of women came, we think uh, the what what actual safety means that I ensure myself as safe, I feel myself free, I can express my freedom, I can choose what I want to. Then how? If you guys support me, how you can support me coming to my home? Yeah, not that. You can support me on social media like Facebook and at this 21st century without Facebook or social media life is almost impossible. So it's very important to ensure women's safety not only in the real life but also in Facebook and that's not my responsibility only, all of your responsibility. Thank you. Thank you everyone. So I am Krishna Sharkar from Sanat School and College. So, I'm a topic that
that do you believe women get less respect in the society as partners than mothers? What do you guys think? So, at a may hot, I mean a respect, I mean a little bit of a good one, I mean a little bit of a good one. Thank you.